players who have been in this position before, and we are glad to welcome an NBA champion. Brothers, Kyle doing? Lowry is here after a doing? huge right, win tonight. Right, Kyle, right. congratulations. Right. Thank you. Make thank yourself thank comfortable you. over there. Uh, I am. Take, <laughs> <laughs> take us to the beginning of that fourth quarter. Uh, the, the Nuggets had the lead, and your team, led by Duncan Robinson, hitting a bunch of shots in that spot. Take us to the beginning of that fourth quarter. The momentum really seemed to turn. Yeah, Duncan came out aggressive. You know, one thing about Duncan, he's uh, – He's been, you know, consistent in his playoff run. You know, he's going to get shots up, and once he gets going, he sees the ball go through the net. It's, uh, it's really good. Coming into this game, looking at what transpired in game one, what did you guys think definitively you needed to do to win game two? Play more physical. I think the uh, Nuggets in game one were so much more physical. They were really ready to play. I think we didn't come out with the physicality. Tonight, we came out with the physicality to start the game, the starters. Second unit, we didn't play too well, but they got us back in the, in the, into the game in the uh, second quarter. But we found a way to uh, win the game. I was going to ask you if you heard the phrase, play with more force yeah. <laughs> a few times in yeah. two days, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, that is – you. That is a consistent theme of the people talk about heat culture. Mm -hmm. That's a big part of it. Yeah, it? yeah. We didn't play uh, as, as aggressive as with force as we wanted to in game one. But also, we had great looks in game one. You know, Max Schroes came out tonight, hit four threes in the first quarter. So that kind of helped and, you know, got us some energy. But like I said, it's about force. You know, they got great players in Jamal and Jokic, and uh, we just had to take out all the other, other guys a little bit. Kyle, congratulations. Thank the key you. to playing a long time in this league is the ability to have your ego and your game <laughs> reinvent itself. You and Kevin Love have done that with the Miami Heat. Y'all both brought a champion pe championship pedigree that's way bigger than anything on the stat sheet. Talk about what it was like for you to see him in the starting lineup getting double-digit boards and also you're not, you knocking down threes and playing yeah, well also. I, I think Kev is this, uh, the ultimate pro. I mean, he's been here. Our, he changed our locker room, honestly, with his energy and effort, his vocalness, his, uh, his, his sarcasm, <laughs> <laughs> honestly. <laughs> but, you know, having me and him out there, we're just trying to keep everybody calm and, and steady. Um, and for me, you know, and, I, and both of us coming off the bench, we know our roles. We understand our roles. We understand who's our best players, who we got to keep going. And, you know, we're just like the extensions of the coach. You know, I'm sorry, but, but you said an interesting thing a moment ago about keeping the other guys in check. Yeah. And in this game, Nikola Jokic had 41 points, but he only did had he? four. He did. I, I ain't going to lie. I didn't know that. <laughs> he had four. <laughs> he had four. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He had 41, but he only had four assists. What, what can you tell us about the, the game plan defensively? It, it certainly seemed as though there was a concerted effort to make sure he wasn't able to get everyone else involved force and physicality, right? Not letting them get easy back passes on the cuts. Um, you know, I think last game one, Aaron Gordon started out with 12 first quarter points in the paint, and we weren't as aggressive in, in not letting them cut. You know, we let them cut everywhere. Tonight, we were a little bit body on and making sure they were going over top. I didn't, honestly, I didn't know he had 41, so you know, we found a way to win the game. That's all that matters. Any hesitancy about Miami winning game two, I think, stemmed from the fact that they just looked so much bigger than you guys in game one. Again, you talk about force, you talk about physicality, but you look at their size of end and you just say, how how on earth is Miami going to overcome this? It's about making perimeter shots. Y'all did that tonight. You missed about 16 wide open three point shots in game one. Did you guys look at that and say, excuse me, we're not going to miss these shots again. That's all we got to do in order to win game two. That's part of it. And that's a great coaching uh, adjustment, bringing Kevin Love in the starting lineup. Yep. You know, that honestly, that's a great coach adjustment. But our team is ready for anything. You know, we can go small, we can go big, and we got everything. And like you said, we knew we, were, you know, we got great open looks in the uh, in, in game one. And we just had to continue to stay with our game and our game plan. You had so many people contribute. I think you guys had like 10 guys in the game in the first quarter. But you had so many contribute. Kyle, I know you weren't in there very long, but the locker room after the way you won, is this, you've been through this so many times. Is there such a thing as momentum? Uh, I think we just continue to stay the, stay the course. We don't get too up. We don't get too down. We stay level. And I think our locker room is really, we're built on just, you know, guys with chips on their shoulders, and we just want to continue to prove people wrong. What about Bam's versatility? I've seen him block a shot on Jokic one-on-one, -on -one, create offense for teammates. Knock down jump shots, grab rebounds, hustle, diving into the stands. Celebrate Bam. Yeah, he's a phenomenal passer also. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, you know, I think even that block he had on Jamal Murray at the end of the game. You know, it's just his versatility. He can guard big. He can guard smalls. Um, there's a reason we are where we are, and, and Bam's one of our leaders, and he's our defensive anchor. He anchors everything we do defensively. So, and what, he did, what he's doing offensively is great also. So, I mean, 
Yeah. Big numbers right there, baby. Kyle, thank, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank Congratulations thank on a terrific win. We will Appreciate see you it. in Miami at yeah, the end yeah, of the yeah. week. Yeah. Again, the heat, Miami even up already. this <laughs> series. <laughs> Stephen A., the happiest one in the world. There's Nikola Jokic. Again, 41 points. There's one of his assists, but he had only the four in the game today, and it is Miami with a three-point win. They even up these NBA Finals at a game apiece, and we'll be back in Denver in just a